Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on a very exciting product that I have in this beautiful box right here. Um, so I'm talking about the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. Um, I haven't even opened it yet. I've been waiting to make this video. It's been painful. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's open this baby up and before we even continue the review, the swatches, the makeup tutorial, go ahead and make sure you are liking my video and subscribing to my channel. So let's open this baby up and see what's inside it. I'm once again getting ready to go to work, so I wanted to use this palette today. Ta-da! Alright, so... This is what the outside of it looks like. Nothing else in here and this is what we look like on the outside. I'm sure you guys have seen a ton of tutorials on this because I'm like a month late. But I mean, oh my god, it's so pretty. This is really like sturdy packaging too. I have the I have the first Huda Beauty palette, the Rose Gold Edition palette, and it feels lighter too. Um, and also, this one, when you open it up, it comes with a mirror, so this must be one of the reasons it feels so much heavier, because this one here, when you open this one up, it's just a clear thing, and you see the shadows underneath. So definitely an upgrade on the packaging and then this is what it looks like here it has this like this awesome eyes in front of it and then these are the shadows right over here i'll definitely do some swatches at the end but i just want to get started and do this eye look i don't know what i'm going to use but i'm thinking retrograde right here is calling my name so Let's see, let's just get started. Let's see, I'm grabbing the palette here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the color Eden. And this is a Sephora Collection number 10 brush. Oh, the mirror is nice. It's a very clear, accurate mirror, not like a cheapy mirror, you know? Also, now that I started putting this shadow on, I just remember I forgot to put a um, eyeshadow primer underneath it, but that's okay. A lot of times I don't, and um, good eyeshadows will last on me just the same without a primer. Okay, yes, that looks really good. So far, Eden is a good shadow. <laughs> so we're just going to go in and do windshield wiper motions on the crease of the eye with that color Eden. And I'm going back and building up intensity on it a little bit until I get it to where I want it to be. So I tapped back on the shadow around three times. And I'm happy with that level of depth right there. I'm going to grab my Sigma E25 brush, which is a more pinched blending brush. And I'm going to grab, oh, this color right down here, Saffron. That one's calling my name. So we're gonna do that one. And we're going to put it on the crease of the eye, but a little bit lower down, also on the outer corner. There we go, so the outer corner and into the crease a little bit. I think I can already say these shadows also blend better than the first palette. This is a very similar formula to the Obs Little Obsessions palettes that she came out with as opposed to her first palette, which her first palette has incredible colors in it, so I do still really like it. But the matte colors weren't as blendable as I would have liked them to be. Um, and these are blending a lot better already, I can tell. Check that out. Okay, I love it. So let's do the other one. And then I'm going to go back with my number 10 brush and just make sure everything looks nice and blended on the crease of the eye. And if something doesn't look super nice and blended just with the brush by itself, you can go back and dip um, your brush into Eden and make sure to run it over with Eden again so that everything turns out nice and even and you can't see where one of the colors starts or ends. So see, this is a lot better blended than this one because we went over it with the brush. Can you guys tell the difference? Good, not good. So just blend, 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 blend. And 
and I do a lot of like back and forth motions to blend or windshield wiper motions or even like little circles around the crease of the eye and like this and all of that helps it blend so well so see now they're both really nice and blended and right now we're focusing the blending only on the crease of the eye just forget about how patchy this looks because we're going to fix that later because we haven't put colors on the eyelid yet I don't know if I want to go darker so what I'll do right now is I'm going to go back to this color saffron right here this is the little brush that comes inside the Anastasia palettes by the way and I'm going to intensify the outer corner so retrograde is really calling my name but I feel like if I put twilight it's going to make more of a contrast so now I don't know what to do uh, decisions I really like that color saffron. I don't think I want to make it darker, but I feel like I should because I want to use more colors for you guys. Decisions. So I'll make it a little darker. Okay, so I'm grabbing my Morphe M441 and the color Oud? Oud? I don't know. That dark brown. I'm going to put it over the outer corner of the eye. And into the crease just a tiny bit. I barely got anything. Like, can you guys even tell a difference? Very, very slight difference. I think it just darkened up that red a little bit. So I just went tap, 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 tap. Just tiny, tiny bit. And I'm putting it all over the outer corner of the eye and blending it in to the crease a little bit. This brush is really good because it's a blending brush that's very pointed. See? Um, so it gives you a lot of control over where you want to put the shadow. So again, I'm just going back and forth on the crease of the eye. So then I think I'm just going to go in with retrograde right here because I just, I want to play with it. Okay, so I'm going to go with my Sephora collection brush in number 15 and retrograde right here. And I'm putting it all over the eyelid, doing little like tapping motion motions. This color is beautiful. It's like you don't even know what it is, it's just magical. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, Huda Beauty is killing it with these palettes. And I tried the foundation on a client the other day because at my store we don't sell the foundation. That's very unfortunate by the way because it's sold out online um, quite a few times and on top of that very few stores got it so I know Huda is still a smaller brand but <sighs> um, so anyways a client bought it and um, it matched her and I put it on her the other day because she got a custom makeover and she brought her own foundation and it is super nice super full coverage but still looks like skin it's incredible but yeah, so, oh my goodness, that color is everything. That looks absolutely incredible. I'm going to wet my shadow and I'm going to apply some more because I want to see how much more intense we can get this color to be. Okay, so my camera died. I did apply this one wet already, but I'm going to show you how, I, I'm going to show you guys um, the other one. So I'm just using the Urban Decay This Lick setting spray. Any setting spray will work for this. I've heard eye drops also work. So I'm just grabbing that same retrograde shade and I'm just tapping it on wet and it makes a difference. It's so much more intense, I love it. Okay, so then I'm going to grab my number 18 brush by Sephora collection and I'm going to grab this color right here, Nefer Nefertiti, I think it's called. So I'm gonna put that one on the inner corner of the eye it's got like a gold glitter in it I dig it so now I'm going to grab my Morphe M432 and my color saffron one more time and we're going to put it right underneath our lash line and I'm only going like halfway in I'm not going all the way in so I think I'm going to grab this color right here, it's called Turkish Delight, and I'm going to put that one the rest of the way in underneath my lashes. Which, by the way, that color is everything and more. I remember now swatching it at the store and being wowed by it. 
So let me see if I can do this here so you guys can see it better. It is so, so beautiful. So I'm going to grab, this is a Morphe E18 and I'm going back with that color Eden and we're going to blend out, blend down these um, edges here. And then when we blend down with a blending shade like Eden here, see I'm just going like windshield wiper motions, kind of back and forth a little bit and smoking that out and look at the difference between this eye and this eye. So you see how this one is just a lot more smooth and blended and this is just harsh. So that's why it's important to use a transition shade. So I don't know if this is going to be the best idea but I do have this Marc Jacobs red um liner and i think i want to put it in the waterline because i have a lot of red under my eye already so why not right like i don't know let's see <laughs> let's see what that looks like all right and then i'm going to put some mascara on my lower lashes i've been using this one by ciate it's called wonder wand and it's been working but also, I think every mascara works on my lower lashes. I haven't actually tested it at the top lashes. Okay, so as my last step, I'm going to add a little bit of this color right here, Desert Sand, to right underneath my brows. And I'm using my E55. Yes, my E55 by Sigma. I'm not sure why, but I really like matte underneath the brows. I feel like it brings a lot more attention to whatever is happening right here. Okay, so I love, 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 love this palette. I'm going to show you guys some swatches. Um, Here's the first row. We have Desert Sand right here. We have Musk right here. Eden here, which I used on the crease of the eye. This one here is Amber. This one here is called Blood Moon, which is such a pretty color. Um, and then out um right over here on this corner so here's the second row i have this one here which is celestial which looks amazing because it's got some kind of iridescence to it it's so pretty then this one here is Nes nefertiti which i have on the inner corner of my eyes and as you can see it's like a gold with like gold sparkles in it is amazing this one here is called Twilight, which I mean, I kind of wanted to use today, but now I know for sure I'm going to use next time I use this. I have Amethyst right here, Royal right here, which looks amazing, and Retrograde, which you guys already saw is pretty good because I have it all over my eyelid and it looks so bomb. Okay, so here is the last row. So I have Cashmere right here, which looks so pretty. Angelic, which is on the first palette as well and is amazing. This color right here is a loose glitter and it's called Cosmo. I mean, look at that. Turkish Delight, which you guys already saw is so pretty. Saffron, which I have on the crease of my eye. And then Blazing right here, which is a really pretty orange shade. So those are the swatches. And now I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I am back. I did bronzer, blush, and highlighter. Um, and then I put my Huda Beauty lip contour and lipstick on in um, Trendsetter. So this is the ones that she came out with like a year ago, I think, that came in this little pack. Um, and it has a full lip contour and two liquid lipsticks inside it, which the ones she came out this holiday season with are so much prettier because they have like that lip packaging, which I'm a sucker for. It's so pretty. Um, and then it has... The lip contour full size and then a mini of the liquid lipstick and the um, lip gloss, which is amazing. But anyways, this is Trendsetter liquid um, lip contour and liquid lipstick. And I think it looks so good with this eye look from the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget before you leave, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really, really, really helps me out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I will link the palette, of course, if you guys want to check it out it is super pretty super worth it there is one thing i don't like about this palette just one thing and that is the price so it is a 65 dollar palette which i think is a little bit steep in comparison to other palettes on the market like the anastasia uh, palettes um but i i do really really enjoy it um i feel like it could be 
$15 cheaper and it would be perfect. Like if it was a $50 palette, I would just be like thrilled to spend my money on it. But $65, I think it's a bit of a higher price. But I mean, quality is amazing, blendability is amazing. So um, if you guys think that you can spend $65 on a beautiful palette, then I would by all means get this one because it is pretty amazing. So that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.